Hey guys, Zach Man with another video update on Tron TRX. So today we're looking at the chart right here. Uh, obviously we had a little uh, surge uh, today, which is pretty positive. We're kind of running this uh, resistant line right here right now. We're kind of going up and down there. And obviously the next resistance uh, will be right here. Um, so we're kind of definitely kind of an uptrend here, which is pretty positive. Uh, Bitcoin uh, that's kind of, again, fluctuating in this little uh, funnel right here uh, between four a uh, thousand uh, price uh, for Bitcoin right now, so that's kind of written there. Um, hot or holo chain, that's kind of in a little surge as well right now. I'm gonna head into an uptrend, it looks like, so they're up pretty day uh, on today, so that's pretty positive. Um, so if we go back to the uh, thing here, we'll see that uh, oh, God, stupid thing reload. Let's see where we're at uh, again. Tron's been fluctuating between 10 and 9 spot. Um, these last couple of days uh, right now yeah so right now we're number nine with a market cap of about 1.7 uh, billion so um and obviously in my previous video we kind of talked a little bit with the market cap kind of did some prices stuff like that so obviously if everything stays the way it is of course except for Tron it moves up that's how those numbers kind of work um but if we go back and uh look at like uh right now obviously Tron's number one so if we go back I'll take uh Bitcoin, for example, copy that price. Um, that was trade. Let's say twenty thousand. So, because that's like the highest peak that it ran, twenty thousand. So that's like three hundred forty-nine billion um, in market cap. So, in order, uh, so let's just say if that if that's where it goes again, and for Tron to take number one, it has to beat that market cap um, times. So let's see, that would be. Probably like five and a half dollars, probably I'd say, pretty close, well, roughly. Yeah, so about three hundred and sixty-six billion. So I'd, you know, it'd be gotta be between five and five and a half dollars for it to become number one. If Bitcoin was trading at twenty thousand today, um, same thing with Ethereum. If it wanted to beat Ethereum, I believe Ethereum at the highest point was at or like thirteen seventy-seven or something like that. So. Let's just say, oops, where am I doing here? Clear that, oh, we gotta do it again. I copy it, sorry. Uh, so let's just say, times 13.77 for the Ethereum. Um, again, that's 143 billion. Um, so again, for uh, Bitcoin, or for Tron to beat that even, at its highest point, you know, you're looking probably anywhere from a you know, dollar to two dollars, basically. Uh, to, to beat those numbers like and that's if we're going off the highest numbers but I know a lot of people are speculating you know let's say that Bitcoin runs up to for some drastic reason goes to a thousand uh, dollars per Bitcoin you know that's 1.7 trillion dollar market cap um, so again if Tron wanted to be number one like it wants to be at that type of price we are looking at a market cap of uh, let's see, that'd probably be like twenty. You know, let's just go thirty dollars. Uh, so like one point nine, you know, give or take. Like I said, obviously, so between twenty-five to thirty dollars uh, would, would have to be the price if the circulating supply stays like that. But if they get rid of, you know, some do another coin burn or whatever, because this is what's circulating. This is what's law. I know if you go on Tron. And we look at the total supplies, it's actually 99 in total supplies, but this is just the circulating supplies. But I know there's a, a lot that's locked up, like 36 billion or something like that, that was actually locked, um, that nobody can access. So, um, yeah, for their for Tron supplies. Uh, but again, they could do another coin burn, or they get rid of some... I mean, there's so many factors, obviously, and everything. Not everything is going to work out the way we want it to be. But if all these continue to go up, and so does Tron, well, it's actually a good thing. So instead of $0.04, cents, like uh, my previous video said, um, you know, let's say that uh, number four gets to $3 trillion. Well, then now Tron's got to be $3 trillion, which that also means that the price is going to go up to more than $0.04. Cents. So it's it's a positive thing as well as long as everything keeps going up and as long as Tron keeps going up as well so and again this market cap nobody knows you know um, obviously the stock market in the US is valued at millions of dollars uh, you know the cryptocurrency or I'm uh, sorry the stock market is worth billions the cryptocurrency market um, hasn't really been set yet 
And as far as the Forex market, the currency market, you know, that's marked at trillions. So the currency market, that could be beyond all that stuff. You, you just never know because it's, it's new. So my guess is it's going to pass the trillions. It, it, it really will with all the stuff that's happening. So you can't just go off of the market cap like everybody else says. Well, you know, it's got a market cap of this. It'll be more than this. Well, anything is possible. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.